Come on. Come on, Fred. Come on. Good boy. Hey, da, da, da. I'd say that was a great success. There. There we are. There. Good. Teddy! Teddy! Ah, Teddy, stop! Stop! Roy? Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! Ah! All right, come, come. Come and sit down there. Come on. That's it. There you go. Oh. Oof. I, to I told you to wait for me, didn't I? He, he ran and I, I chased a, it's a, a yes, cat. Yes, all right, it's all right. Very interesting, but just, just, Ooh. just save your breath, right? Oh. Save your breath. What are you doing? What do you think? Ordering a pizza. Uh, ambulance. Uh, friend. No, he's, he's got chest pains, he can't catch his breath, and I think it's his heart. It's not a heart. Shh, shh, a, a precinct. It's Weatherfield, by the flats. All right, but be quick as you can. <sighs> it's all right, well, I'm not taking any chances, am I? <sighs> if I'm not by your side, anything can happen. Just breathe. One. Out. In. Out. <sighs> I don't think Freddy's got any idea of the chaos he's caused. He was happy as Larry when I left him with Tyrone. Uh, Robin Buckley. Hey, didn't that lad come in after us? Uh, I believe he did, yes. Well, why are they seeing him before they see you? They've already taken my bloods and given me an ECG. I would say I'm being very well looked after. Thank you, Evelyn. We didn't look like there was much wrong with him. He's already got through two packets of crisps while we've been sitting here. I'm sure if they thought I was in immediate danger, they'd spare me the indignity of actually dying in the waiting room. Roy, don't. Don't even joke about that. Roy Cropper? Oh, yes, yes. Hey, about time. Excuse that lad... my friend. She's a little anxious. Hey, all done. Uh, just awaiting the results. Yeah, well, you know, at least you've seen a doctor now, so you're out of immediate danger. Honestly. <gasps> what you were doing? Chasing Freddy, silly old fool. I wondered when the recriminations might start. Yeah, well... I know it was foolish, but it was instinctive. As if my mind wasn't in control of my body. Well, that's love for you. But I felt more akin to blind panic. No, I know that you didn't intend to risk your own life, but... You did. Just shows how much you care for that little tyke. Little tyke? Mm. As I recall, you referred to him as a, a mouse with identity issues. I was a guinea pig, actually. I mean, just because he's not my sort of dog doesn't mean I don't have a soft spot for him. It's just... Oh, since Cerberus. I feel... What? What do you feel? Well... I suppose frightened, really, like, uh, you know, Cerberus was as good a friend as I'm ever going to get, and now I just can't face the idea of losing another one. Right. Well, I've had a look at your angiogram, and there's been a significant narrowing of your coronary artery. I'm afraid that you have angina. Mr. Cropper. So will, will, will there be pills for that? I think the best course of action is to have a stent fitted. What's the stent? Uh, it's a small tube that we insert into the artery to widen it so that more blood can be pumped around the heart. A bit drastic, isn't it? It's not nearly as drastic as what would happen if we did nothing. But I assure you, the procedure itself is fairly straightforward. We do hundreds of them every week with uh, extremely positive outcomes. Hmm. If I have your consent, I'll book you into theatre as soon as you have a slot available. Yeah, that's f fine, yes. Thank you. Well, you know what this means, don't you? You have got to tell Nina now. 